Wow. <laughs> the day has finally come. Man, oh man, Jesse Schmellett is sentenced to jail. I'm trying to turn on my light. Jesse Schmellett is sentenced to 150 days in jail. Is this a video right here? Let me see. In prison. It's expected. The former Chanel's with us now. We turn some other big stories. Yes. Hi. Good morning to you both. Actor Jesse Smollett returns to a Chicago courtroom today for sentencing three months after being convicted of staging his own hate crime. In December, the jury convicted Smollett of lying to police. He reported being the victim of a racist and homophobic attack in downtown Chicago back in 2019. Smollett faces a range of sentences from probation to up to 15 years in prison. It's expected the former Empire star will speak today at his sentencing hearing wow all right so there we go man jesse schmuller is sentenced to 150 days in jail for lying to the police you know what since jesse jesse schmuller is sentenced to 150 days for lying to the police what they gonna do about chris brown <laughs> Are they gonna throw that girl in jail for lying on Chris Brown and for women lying on lying on men? I'm not really, you know what I mean? Just you smiling, ah, okay, cool. But I wonder, are they gonna do the same thing to 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 Chris Brown? A accused, you know, R word. But uh yo, it, it's it's official. Jesse Smullett gets 150 days for faking hate crime against himself mm. i think he got lucky uh the sentence because honestly i think it should be it should be more than that but you know they're not gonna really like punish him like that but hmm. at least they setting it and I, I don't know i i guess oh shit, hold on uh sentence includes 30 months probation and 120,000 in restitution for the city of Chicago. Five or six counts of felonies this disorderly conduct for making false re, uh, reports to the police. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well there y'all go, man. So Y'all leave a comment down below, man. Do y'all think this is this is uh justice? I don't justice? I don't know. Do you think this is what he deserves, I guess? I don't know. I would love to see this. I would love to see something like this happen to a woman that falsely accused a man of you know doing things that he didn't. Um at the end of the day, uh, people should be punished for for definitely lying. You know what I mean? People should be punished definitely for lying. Uh, let's watch this video right here real quick. Thank you, Dana. In less than 24 hours, actor Jussie Smollett will be sentenced after he was found guilty for staging a hoax attack in 2019. And for the sentencing, cameras will be allowed inside the courtroom. Meanwhile, supporters have submitted letters to Judge James Lynn for him to consider before Smollett's sentencing. Actor Samuel L. Jackson and his wife Latanya wrote, Jussie has already suffered a great deal of punishment as this situation has destroyed his existing career and impugned his reputation. Please, Judge Lynn, in God's name, please save this young man and allow him to be of service. The president of the NAACP, Derek Johnson, <clears throat> wrote in part, despite the attention paid to it by the media, at its heart, this case involves a low-level, non-violent offense. We urge the court to keep this truth in mind when sentencing Mr. Smollett. You can watch live coverage of Jesse Smollett's sentencing, including going inside the courtroom. It's beginning at noon tomorrow on our streaming now. Well, there we go, y'all. There it is. Um, at the end of the day, if you get, I mean, this, 
this could have led to something more serious you know what i mean if if people would have really gravitated to this and you know what i mean because this could have potentially started you know a uh i wouldn't say a war but you know this had the potential to start up something you know what i mean and um since he got caught lying hey it is what it is man 150 days that's not bad it's not bad at all so you know it is what it is hey if you get caught lying it is what it is you know what i mean so y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this do you think this is deserved do you think this is what he gets do you think he should be in jail longer or do you think he should not serve any time at all y'all let me know man it's your boy damn dpov signing out man peace